Now the great thing about the Xbox 360 and VGA monitors is that it supports a whole boatload of different resolutions. And it supports a lot of resolutions on HDMI as well, but that's only if the television tells the console that it supports them. On VGA, it gives you all the choices here, so you really get to see exactly what it can do, regardless of the capabilities of your monitor. Here you can see it supports standard 4 to 3 and 16 to 9 aspect ratio resolutions, but you also see some odd ones in there like 1280 by 1024, which is not quite square, but it's almost there. I forget what the exact number is. You also get 16 to 10 resolutions like 1440 by 900 and 1680 by 1050. And while these aren't particularly useful because the console's dashboard and the games don't support 16 to 10 resolutions, they just get cropped down. The reason that they're helpful is because some monitors, especially flat panels, don't have any way to compensate for something sending it a non-native resolution, so they will all just stretch it out to fill the screen. And this way you'll at least get aspect ratio correct images. Since this monitor is a CRT monitor and supports all sorts of stretching and squishing, we're just going to go for gold here, take it up to the maximum setting of 1920 by 1080p. For anybody who is wondering, I believe these all are 60 frame per second refresh rates. So there you go, it looks like it took. I might have to do some quick adjustment of the settings on the monitor here real quick, and I will be right back to start a game up. Alright, on second thought, this monitor actually doesn't appear to be that big of a fan of... 1920 by 1080p, so we're just going to leave it here at 1680 by 1050 and let it crop things for us. Now with the Xbox 360, having a high resolution monitor isn't necessarily a cure-all and all for every little thing. As you can see, the game obviously runs at a lower native resolution, and there are some scaling artifacts visible in the picture, but it still looks pretty good. As you can see, the motion of the game is actually confusing the anti-shake feature of the camera. But the picture does look excellent. It's very smooth. Looks fantastic. The Xbox 360 really does go above and beyond the Call of Duty with its VGA output capability. In fact, the fact that it has VGA is a testament to the versatility of the system, which basically means that it includes the high-definition trifecta, as I call it, component, HDMI, and VGA output capability. That, combined with the fact that it can scale to almost any resolution imaginable, means the Xbox 360 is a fantastic system for both standard definition and high definition televisions and monitors of almost any kind. As for the monitor, as the video title already suggested, it's the HP A7217A, which is a rebadged Sony FW900, which is commonly regarded as the best CRT monitor ever made. The VGA cable is useful on more than just analog displays, however. Take this crappy Magnavox LCD flat panel television, for example. This television will cut off the image on anything in the HDMI or component inputs, but it has a whole new level of respect for any video input that you feed into the VGA port. Unfortunately, this television's VGA interface is pretty crap, so there's a lot of ghosting on everything, but not an unreasonable amount. In fact, I'd almost say that I would accept this over the image cutoff on the component and HDMI inputs any day. The good news is that with most newer or name brand television sets, the image cutoff can usually be easily disabled in the menu. In the case of this Samsung, it can only be done for the HDMI input, but I digress. The good news is that the image cutoff problem on HDMI and component inputs is usually only present on older or crappier flat panel television models. Newer and even older nice models at least have a way to disable it or even come with it disabled by default. So for most, this will really be a non-issue and the VGA cable can be reserved for use with analog displays. 
And that's the Xbox 360 hooked up to the HP A7217A, aka the Sony FW900 22 or so inch CRT monitor. As always, thank you for watching the all new Channel 2012. He comes in for Kevin Martin, and then for Milwaukee. Lilia Silva comes in for Amba Amut, and Tudrick in for Brandon Jennings. There's a minute 34 left to play in the third. He kicks it to Jackson. There's the triple. And change shot. Blocked. And here are the Rockets. It's a one-point game.